Hi, I'm Justin with Concord Lands at concordlands.com. I'm going to be discussing septic systems in New Mexico. So some of the topics we'll discuss uh, on this video are what exactly is a septic system? Make sure everybody understands the basics of that. Uh, what's the deal with septic system regulations in New Mexico? Uh, types of septic systems. How do you go about the process of getting a system set up? and some useful links that will help you do some further research and also apply for permits, etc. So what exactly is a septic system? Uh, really it's just a way for, uh, it's w w the way wastewater is carried away from your home. Anytime you flush the toilet, wash your hands, uh, that water's got to go somewhere and it's important that we know where it's going and it's treated properly. So the size and type will be determined by the amount of wastewater used. Typically uh, based on how many bedrooms in your home. So what's the deal with septic system regulations in New Mexico? So the current law, uh, as listed there, uh, discusses that typically a lot that is 0.75 acres or greater is eligible for a conventional system. That 0.75 acres includes subtracting the total area of the lot minus the area of any easements. So if you have uh, power easements, road easements, uh, other wastewater easements that may be subtracted from your total uh, lot size uh, in context of applying for this. Uh, if the total size is at least 0.75 acres, the property must still meet requirements uh, of soil uh, discussed uh, in other videos on our site about percolation, for example and also depth of groundwater. So there's some permitting that has to go and some testing that has to be done to make sure that uh, even if your property has that 0.75 that you still uh, fall into that um, allowance. And then some counties to note here with, within New Mexico have their own ordinance with specifics such as Bernalillo uh, County in New Mexico, they have their own, uh, own regulations. So a couple different basic types of septic systems. So the traditional septic system uh, is the septic tank with a drainage field. That's just a basic overview. Uh, it's the most common. It requires percolation tests and permitting, and we'll discuss kind of the way to do that, uh, do the permitting here in a minute. But you also have, if you don't fall under that 0.75 acres total, uh, you can still apply for a permit for an advanced treatment system. Uh, there are a few different kinds. One is shown here in the bottom right, an aerobic uh, treatment unit, ATU is what it's referred to. So this is when you don't have that 0.75 or if, or if your uh, property isn't perking properly, if you don't have the right, uh, if it, there's shallow groundwater, etc. So uh, there is options to uh, get around that 0.75 acres or uh, poor soil, uh, but it is going to cost more, uh, more in maintenance and also in the permitting process and sampling. So how do you go about uh, the process of getting a system set up? So it's really, uh, you, the website uh, for New Mexico Environmental Department, uh, I'll have that in the useful links, but really, here's the basic steps. You're, you you want to contact a licensed installer. Someone has to be licensed to be able to install a septic system. You can find that list on that link there. Then you're going to fill out an application. There's a few things that will go into that application. The next step will be supplying supporting documents to show that you own the land, uh, a site diagram, uh, which that contact, uh, or excuse me, which that licensed installer is going to help you do. Then you're going to submit that, all those documents, to your local field office. So there's different field offices around New Mexico where you can submit that, and those, those are going to be the folks that you communicate with through the process. So once you receive that notice of approval, you'll go ahead and pay for that permit, uh, and then the um, the system will be installed and you can request inspection by uh, the environmental department. They'll go ahead and give you a thumbs up and after the approved inspection you'll get a copy of the permit to operate that system that was installed. So here's some useful links. There's much, much more information out there. Uh, I just wanted to give you a video that gives you a broad overview of the basics. Uh, but the New Mexico Environmental Department, again, the liquid waste program, that's going to be your go-to. There's their phone number. Um, the uh, third bullet there, the New Mexico Environmental District Field Offices, those are going to be the folks that are going to be local to the property that you're looking at doing. So 
um, I would I would highly recommend contacting those folks. And there's a complete uh, waste permit application guide on that final uh, link there. It's just uh, it's within the environmental department's website, but it'll give you specifics on how you go about that application. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you are interested in selling your property in New Mexico, or if you have land to sell in any, any other state, feel free to fill out the form on our website here, and uh, you'll get a cash offer from an investor like me, and they'll be able to talk you through the process. Thank you.